Hey everybody, hope you're well. Uh, this is an uh, exciting one in a mini kind of way for me. My first bum 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 German um, ball action figures finished. A mere five of them, but uh, quite pleased with the way they've shown, uh, with, the, with the way that they've turned out. So uh, if you remember from my last painting update, these were the guys off the front of War Games Illustrated this month from Warlord Games, and uh, I thought I'd give them a go. Well, I have done, and I quite enjoyed the experience. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, so much so that I've ordered some British to have a hack at from Crusader Miniatures. They should be here soon. When they do arrive, I'll be sure to show them, and uh, we'll go through that painting process, or at least show them at the end, um, depending on how long they take. Quite a few of them. Got a heavy machine gun crew, motor crew, uh, riflemen, NCOs, etc. So, um, yeah, when they come, should be quite exciting. For me, at least. <laughs> Um, right, so, if you remember rightly, should we take a look at these figures? Don't be best with them, I mean, you know, I, I don't really have a collection of colours, specifically for German troops. Struggled a bit with the relative greens that I've got on them. Obviously had black green. I've been painting a Nassau, as you're aware, from the Napoleonics. We'll take a look at one of them in a minute. But um, these guys, uh, I did the best that I could. Various different greens uh, for the British, really. Uh, helmets, uh, Russian colours, just slapped it on. Had a go at the camouflage, was really quite pleased with the way this has panned out. Um, you know, I think uh, I explained that this guy here was my favourite figure um, last... Let's get in focus. Is it going to get in focus? A little bit too close, maybe. He, he was my favourite figure last um, last week. And um, he's turned out okay, I think. Um, equipment looks okay. He's a um, nice figure to paint. Facial detail was okay, and uh, all in all, turned out uh, quite nice, I think. The figures themselves, um, you know, they came on the sprue, there's still loads and loads of bits in, on the sprue I haven't bothered using, uh, more Panzerfaust, etc, etc, but uh, they've, uh, they were quite nice to, to put together and... Um, Once I got over the arms, I have problems with gluing stuff. I, I generally don't like gluing anything, but um, let's just say, let's move these figures here, that uh, once I got over the nightmare of that, I was kind of nicely surprised how quick it took, or how little time it actually took me. So um, so here we go, we're getting quite a good view on this little box, aren't we? I'll have to try this more often. Bit of rotation. I hope you're all right um, after the new year and you haven't put on uh, vast amounts of weight. Um, I think I might have. Don't like to look in mirrors these days. Not a good sight. Ooh, hiss. I feel like a vampire. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like smashing them every time I see one. Oh, dear. So what do you think? They're okay, aren't they? Um, taking a few pictures. Just found the use of my flash. Sorry, shaky camera again. Um, but yeah, I'm struggling with a dark, the dark uh, evening kind of uh, getting a lighting right on these uh, videos at the moment. It's a bit of a struggle, but I'm um, doing my best. So I hope this is okay. Anyway, so this is these are the Germans. This is what they look like. And yeah, they're not bad. So should we look at something else? Why not? I might stick a few um, videos, or at least. Pictures on the War Game Central Facebook group that is expanding uh, more rapidly than I thought it was going to. I'm quite pleased with the way that we're getting new members onto that. Um, not in the thousands, but certainly in the hundreds at the moment, which is which is good. So this was the Malburian oh, guy I was uh, having a go with um, this week, and do you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed painting this guy. One of those figures that was just dead easy to do. More games found with nice flat surfaces. Good set of colours for him. Not difficult at all. Kind of made me think, oh, a unit of these would be nice, wouldn't it? Nice 24-man, 36-man unit would be lovely. But um, it's not going to happen. Not my bag, not my period. A bit of a damage or kit already on his, uh, on his knapsack there, on his cartridge pouch. But yeah, I was quite pleased... Um, a nice painting experience this guy uh, turned out to be and uh, 
is going to sit on my painting rack just over there and we'll be able to see more of him because uh, every time I take a video you'll probably get a glimpse of him this dude this dude here in the blue well again quite a nice figure to paint facial detail wasn't the best and I overdid it with the pinks because I have a tendency to do lightened him up a bit too much but uh, at the end of the day, I think somebody said to me he's actually uh, for the Franco-Prussian at the American Civil War. Which is a bit of a shame, because he ended up being for the American Civil War. Um, I'm actually thinking that I'd quite like to do some American Civil War figures. Not that hard to paint, are they? You know, blue, bit of brown, bit of white. I'd slap a unit of those together, I reckon, in record time. I just don't fancy getting into something that's very similar to the Napoleonics at the moment, though, you know. Um, so uh, yeah, he, he turned out to be quite nice. Not a bad sample, free. Glad I painted him up really. So he's another one that'll just sit there looking at me. So to the Nassau. Well, the unit is over there, but um, I think what I'll do is I'll I'll save my powder on these guys. So it's got a bright, very bright, isn't it? Let's see if I can just dull it down somewhat. That's a bit better, I reckon. Oh, camera work's gone to pot, hasn't it? So this guy here, he's uh, he's coming along lovely. I don't know if you can see much in the way of the, the facial detail on him. Um, I think this light is too strong. But um, all the units coming along now, well, the 12 that I'm, I'm working on. What I've decided I'm going to do is, um, I did have another 12 with the, the best bug standard fusilier kind of... Uh, people to paint up, but uh, I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to um, mix and match in the Grenadiers into the next batch, I think, because I just can't wait to paint them. And, uh, you know, you need something psychologically to be enthusiastic about getting getting stuck into. One of the things I've noticed about the unit pack is it comes with two standard bearers, which is a bit of a pain now, because um, I've got one standard bearer too many, I believe. I will check that fact, but I only need one for the unit, and... Um, yeah, having two is no good, so I need if, if that is the case, I'm gonna to have to purchase one separate figure. Um unless I order the entire second battalion, which would be good, wouldn't it? So I guess that's that for that uh, for today, guys. Uh, seven minutes, seven minutes forty. Just that time in the vid where I say if you like, please do like. And if you want to subscribe, please do subscribe. It's great to get more subs, comments, all that sort of jazz. Feel free, I'll try to get back to you. Um I've just been really, really busy over the Christmas period. So if you did leave me a comment and I didn't get back, then I do apologise. Um, as I said, there's more content uh, put onto the uh, Wargame Central Facebook page. Um, if you look up Wargame Central on the groups, you'll find it. Um, it's got a longer title than that, but Wargame Central will get you there. You can also see the link on the on my front page of my YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah. Um, come along, say hello, and um, I hope you like this vid. Take care, speak soon, bye.